the less and less I drive this, the less often it cranks by itself. And the odd thing is, the less and less I drive this, the less and less other things even work. I know the battery's dead. So I got this new jumper in the mail. You try. Okay, well I will. See if it works as good as the other one. The other one, I simply hook it up and it is instantaneous. I know, there's some pretty chaotic wiring situations down here, but that's the way I roll. There's no reason to make entire videos on showing stuff like this. Everyone knows what a box looks like and everyone knows what a fancy case looks like. You have to admit that cases have gotten nicer over the years, just in case. Everyone knows that that probably needs to come off and it says that if you use the air pump too long it overheats and automatically shuts off. Everyone knows there's power buttons and everyone knows all these have little meters, they're jump starters, they're air compressors. There's your air compressor, there's your leads. And here's your ride that doesn't work. Everyone knows that most likely on this thing, you're going to unplug something, which is most likely not that. That's where you charge it or charge your phone or charge your parents' phone. This is where you take this and you simply put the square peg in the square exit and you put the other one in the other. It appears that once you plug this in, it is starting to work. I will decide if it works. If you have one of these, you unplug it. Then you put that on there. You put your positive on there first and your negative on there second. That's only if you want to. You're all grown up and you can do it your own way. You turn your key on and see if the lights stay on. Give it a little bit of choke a This thing hasn't been running good lately. The choke thing is broke. beast off for the winter. That is ready to go, but I always carry a jump starter with me now. And remember, keep your chicks wrapped for free. This is the most fascinating place I have wanted to see for years and years. In years. There's enough lead paint in here to make me feel good for a while. It's usually blocked off, but everything was open. There's no signs, no anything. So I came simply to look and leave. It was an old mill. I actually worked in a mill in Jacksonville, Alabama while I was going to college and someone came in after it was over and uh, bought almost everything as far as I know, especially the floors. But this one was older. Now these beams are wood, but the, uh, the floors are what people wanted. I don't know why. It's cold in here. I worked, I don't remember all the lingo, but I worked in like doffers and I don't know, I drove these little buggies down in the basement that uh, they were electric where they would haul stuff. There's a big old 
television. It's the simple things that are cool to me, like that. No idea what that is. It's a little motor missing some of the gears. Made by perfection. Doesn't say. Now you think it was, this was a loud, hustling, bustling place, and it was loud, but uh, we had to wear earplugs to plug our ears. Oh look, somebody come in here and practice their English. If there's children watching this, there's dirty words on the walls. Not much to it. I thought I thought it would be a little more impressive. I suppose that was all the offices. And they have all fallen down. So much for walking in high cotton. I want to share where this is, but I probably will. I, uh, I'm going to tell you what just happened. But what I will tell you is I'm not going to walk up there again. When a roof falls in, you can rest assured there's things on the floor <laughs> that are poking out. This place is big, isn't it? There's a restroom. Upstairs. Oh, look. Huh. There's a mosquito hatchery. Let that fill up a few more times, and this is going to go straight on through the floor. That's drained and falling through the floor. I'm gonna head back this way. They're probably just waiting on someone to come and say, hey, I want all the floors in there. And if you let me have all the floors and all the metal and all the copper and whatever may be in there, we'll tear it all down. And, uh, haul it off but there may not be enough profit in here for anyone to want to do that
place is surrounded by police cars. So I would not encourage anyone to come over here and try to live. Plus, you're probably going to get multiple sinus infections if you choose the route of wanting to live here. No step. I don't think you have to worry about that. Oh, those are the old carts with the big wheels on the bottom. You know how I can tell? Because I see these big carts over there and they got big wheels on the bottom. Pretty sure that's the whole thing. If you ever do have the opportunity to walk in anywhere that's abandoned, don't tear it up any more than it's falling down. Don't paint the walls and don't steal stuff. Just go look and leave. I mean, someone worked here that may want to see. Well, I wonder what it looks like in there now. Oh, this is a different room. I thought this was the same room we were looking at. See, the carts we had, I mean, we had like carts that would haul stuff around. These aren't as old, I don't believe, as the ones that we had. But I don't know. I don't even know how the system worked. I was just glad to get a job for nine or ten dollars an hour. And I worked 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. The time. The work wasn't horrible. Because he who does not work does not eat. It's generally the plan. It's almost too quiet in here. It's time to go. But yeah, we went that way. Man, I need to get out of here. You know, the sinus is. I just want to show you some exterior storage kind of neat that's all the doors simply says is storage these are neat the old type fire suppression systems my guess is part of the heating system I don't no, for sure. Tennessee, USA. Steel.
This whole section is just about gone. Oh, look. Another mosquito hatchery. You see them in there? Do you see the mosquitoes? That's what those little things are swimming around. It's actually neat to see them hatch. I know it sounds corny, but they, uh, once they get ready to hatch, they'll come to the top and they'll sit there for a minute and then they kind of explode and a mosquito sits up on top of the water and it flies off. And that is the truth. Woke them all up. So this is it. Journey's almost over. I guess it provided a lot of jobs for a lot of people back then.